Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video and here today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get DS4 Windows and how to step-by-step -step install it. Now, I made this video previously, but I forgot a step. Uh, of course, you know, I'm a human. I make mistakes. And I also had a comment from someone and I'm going to run through the whole process because I didn't run through the whole process because my PC had some of it still installed that I did not know. Now, Basically, you're going to type in DS4 Windows on whatever browsing site you use, and then go ahead and click on Download. Uh, do not click on anything fishy. You might get a pop-up up here. Do not do that. That is dangerous. Just click right where I'm clicking. Go ahead and let your PC download it, right? It'll download. You can just click on the uh, little box thing here, and then click Show in Folder. Sometimes it bugs out. I'm just going to type in Files. All uh, right, we're going to come over here. So what you have to do is you have to extract all and then extract. Now, once your PC does that, you're going to have this. Now, you're going to go ahead and double click on that, and then you're going to double click on DS4 Windows. It's going to say to run this application, you must install uh, .NET. Uh, would you like to download it? You're going to click yes. It'll take you to a site. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to run desktop apps and you're going to use download x64. That is the one that works for me. Um, I don't think it's going to work any differently, uh, for your PC. So just go ahead and download it, uh, download x64, let it download. It'll download down here. You just click on it, let it open, install. Installation was successful, right? After it is uh, installed, you can go ahead and close that and close that. And you're going to double click on DS4 Windows. After you do that, that'll pop up. Uh, it'll say step one, install this whatever bus driver. You're just going to go ahead and click. I accept. Install. Let your PC install it. Finish. Uh, so the rest of the steps are not needed. Um, step two... I don't think anybody's on Windows 7 at this point. Um, now you're going to go ahead and connect your controller via Bluetooth. Uh, I hope, think most people know how to do that. After you do that, um, there's a few more steps you can do. So step four, this is where you hide. Uh, so basically, if you use a game that supports a PlayStation controller and an Xbox controller, and you run DS4, it will make uh, both the PS4 controller and the Xbox 360 controller uh, do things. So you have a chance that it'll make uh, two inputs, which then will cause the problems in the game and possibly make another, like say you're doing split screen, it'll basically act like you're doing split screen. Um, I will be installing that because I do not want that to happen. Just go ahead and click through next, finish, do that. Uh, I don't really recommend step five install faker input. Uh, that doesn't really do anything. But after that, you're going to come on down here, click on Finished. Now, I'm going to go ahead and connect my controller. Okay, so my controller is now connected. Now, um, there's many things you can do with this. You can change your colors, you can do settings, uh, just many, many things you can do. Um... You can edit, you can change your dead zone, your dead zone, basically if you have stick drift, you can just fix that, you can go to readings, you can see what your controller is reading, as you can see my controller is a little jerky right there, I'm barely touching it, it's a little, little jumpy, but you know, it's that. You also can see your gyro when you rotate your controller. So, it's very nice, one thing I will say, don't listen to the battery on it, the battery's kind of bad, I'll be honest, uh, I had it charged for a while. It's not at 37, I don't think. Uh, you can also change the latency type. So if you're running, like, um, over Bluetooth and you want to go ahead and make it uh, much quicker, you can just click on max. And I do not recommend it. It'll kill your battery much quicker. But 4 milliseconds normally does fine because most people are not using really crazy high refresh rate screens. Um, also... You can change uh, the rumble and stuff. You can test it. See, you can see you're emulated. Right now, I'm doing a 360 controller because, say, you're playing on PC, uh, a PC game like Xbox game, and um, 
the game doesn't support a PlayStation controller. This emulates a 360 controller, and the Xbox app will think, oh, it's an Xbox controller to where you can use it without an issue. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. I hope I helped you guys uh, install it, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.